This is part 32. Listen, bro, you don't always have to be a copycat when you're following my tutorials. I'll guide you through the exact steps I use to create this model, but that doesn't mean you need to repeat every single move exactly the way I do it. Instead, try to add some of your own creativity into the process. Maybe you'll want to adjust the proportions, give it a new look, or even add some details that make it completely unique. That's the best part about 3D modeling. You can start by following, but eventually make it your own. Now, if you're new here and this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, welcome. I upload tutorials like this regularly, sometimes in short parts like this one, and sometimes in longer, more detailed videos. So if you're curious about other models or want to learn step by step with more explanation, check out my page after this video. There's already a bunch of content waiting for you. And of course, if you really like these videos, then please support me. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next parts. Drop a like to show your appreciation and leave a comment. So tell me, which side are you on? Do you enjoy sticking to every step exactly? Or do you prefer experimenting with your own style? 